All right, y'all, we're going to Joe's Retro World. Today, we're going to take a look at how to set up an Xbox 360 to modern day 5G Wi-Fi network. All right, first thing you want to do, go ahead and turn your Xbox on, of course. Go over here, use your remote to move over, okay? Use the D-pad to go all the way down to your settings. And then from your settings, you're going to go down to system. You're going to go ahead and hit your A button. And then you're going to go down to network settings, okay? Now, this is the one I already currently have, which is my Spectrum Setup-38. That is very important. You want to go ahead and go to the back of your Wi-Fi, your router, and look at the name of your router and the Wi-Fi password, okay? Go ahead and write both of those down because you will need it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and disconnect, and I'm going to show you how to connect. So, all right, I'm disconnected now. Okay, so it's scanning for wireless networks. Unfortunately, the modern day 5G network outputs 5G and also 4G network at the same time. And your Wi-Fi in your Xbox 360 is not designed to choose which one to use, like your modern phones and computers. So you have to go way over here to the right on your D-pad, push right until you get all the way to the end. And you go to the advanced options, push A once, you go specify unlisted network, yes. All right, so we're gonna go in and put the SSID, which is just your name, which is the Spectrum Setup-38. So make sure you spell it out correctly, just like it has. So right here to do caps, I do, what is it, L? What is it, where is it at? Oh, L, my bad, right there. All right, so. L for capital letters, so S, and then a lowercase. Let me go over here. Okay, I got my whole name in. The SSID is just your, your router, the name of your router back there, okay? Your internet. All right, now make sure you spell it exactly like it is. I have an uppercase S, lowercase P E C. T R U M, uppercase S, S E, lowercase E T, U P, dash 38. Okay, that's exactly how I have it. All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and push start to go next. Now, right here, this is the security that you have. This is the security that you set it up originally when you set up your internet at the house. Okay, they ask you what kind you want to use. So mine is a WPA2. So now I'm going to go ahead and hit A. I'm going to enter my password. Okay, y'all. So I have my password put in. I'm going to go ahead and hit start. Yeah, I don't want to show you my password. Now it's going to go ahead and start connecting. It's going to test your connection. Hit A. It says connected. Internet. Next. Let it go through. Now, this is where if you have an Xbox Live account, it'll go ahead and connect. Unfortunately, I don't, but the people who had it before had one, uh, which was my niece. I mean, my daughter-in-law. My daughter-in-law had it, so it's still reading hers, okay? So, as you can see, everything connected. Now, if I was to try to connect this, like I said, wirelessly, you know, it would not do it... Um, from just scanning alone. You, you just can't scan and then automatically put the password in for that. No, you have to manually do it like this, like I did. And this is the only way it'll be able to do, um, connect to it, okay? Well, I hope this helps. As you can see, I got a check mark, it's good. Okay, and uh, now I can go ahead and uh, get online and play, play some games. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna back on up. And uh, I'm going to play my Gears of War 3, baby. All right, y'all. I hope this helped you out. If you got any questions, hit me up. Let me know. Until next time, peace and much love from Joe's Retro World.